Well, hello out there, YouTubers. Well, I want to cover a topic um, that maybe some of our existing subscribers and viewers have already noticed, and maybe more of you are going to notice, and that is our house is incomplete. Yes, you've seen it, you know it, you've seen the drywall, you've seen the wood, you've seen it. Well, there's a reason why. It's not actually a house. I realized that the, the home that I built next door here, that it's an empty shell. My daughters had grew up, I was divorced, and um, it was a big empty house. Uh, I had the empty nest syndrome for real. So then I did the things like rent a bedroom out. Well, I've had two or three friends rent out a bedroom. But you're giving up your privacy in your home. You know, maybe, maybe your hygiene habits are different than their hygiene habits. Maybe your time that you go to bed is different than the time they go to bed. You know, they're, they're not your wife. They're just a roommate, just someone that's renting a room in your home. They're gonna bring guests in that you don't know or at times that maybe you just wanted some privacy. So you're giving up all your privacy. Well, I did that for a while and, and it got old. I mean, it really it got old. And I thought, you know what? What I'm sitting on here in this big house is I'm sitting on money. That's money that instead of me being in there and worrying about giving up my privacy, how about I just get out all together and rent out my home? So this is what I did. I rented out my home and it was a good move. The first time I rented out, um, I only rented out part of the house and restricted the upstairs bedrooms out, off of it. And it brought me a thousand dollars a month and I thought man that is pretty good because at this point in time I'm already traveling over to the Philippines and continue having to pay utility bills while I'm in the Philippines continue and I have to pay you know all the things connected with a home while you're gone I turn the scales instead I rented that house out it turned into income now somebody else is paying the electric bill. Now somebody else is paying all the utilities around here. Someone else is mowing the yard, not me. And I had that money coming in. And that money is a lot to even live off of when you're abroad, especially when you're in countries like the Philippines that $1,000 gets you a long ways. So then you ask, where did I go? Well, onto the side of my home, years past I have made for a huge closed-in like patio area and um, I had built it all out of two by sixes and treated wood and then over time I decided that I didn't want it just to open that I went ahead and closed it in I had put siding I put numerous windows and I used it more like an entertainment room I put a pool table I'd had some couches in here I had a spare TV in here and we just used it as a hangout spot. Well, I decided I would make that into me a small efficiency apartment. Now, being a single guy and gone a lot between when I was in the U.S. working all the time, or then I just skipped out and went abroad when I wasn't working, I didn't need much. I didn't need much at all. So... What I had done is I just rented out only the downstairs in my house, which consisted of one large bathroom, two large bedrooms, a kitchen, a dining room, laundry room, etc. I blocked off the staircase upstairs and I built a staircase to go up to the upstairs from out back here by this back enclosed room. I continued to still have my master bedroom upstairs a second bedroom upstairs and two bathrooms upstairs well that was great now I'm collecting thousand dollars a month downstairs and I still have my bedrooms I still have bathrooms 
and then I had this big space back here to make into um, kind of like an apartment. Really, all I needed was just this down here, but I needed a restroom. So, I just left it like that for a long while. And I basically left it like a shell back here. It just had um, exposed rafters in the top. It was all treated 2 by 12s up there, but it was just all exposed. Uh, there was house siding still over here on one wall. It, it was just raw. It was just concrete floor, no tile, just cement. But for me, I was okay with that. So I put in just one set of cabinets, eight foot long, and um, I made me just the bare minimum basic kitchen. Just a sink and set my refrigerator next to it and had just put me in a gas stove right there next to that so I didn't have to run any additional power. Well, that was fine being a bachelor. That was great, no problem. But then I ended up getting remarried. And I knew this wasn't going to work for Melinda. Well, I thought. She turned out to be more accepting of it then I figured, I said, well, here we go. I'm going to have to move my renter out, take the house back so that she can live in a normal, finished out, complete home and give this up, revert it back to a game room again. She said, no, do not do that. Do not. I'm okay right here. And I thought this has got to be a joke. A woman okay in this? I think we're probably going to build a new house then, right? She understood the value of that money coming in from the rental, and um, she got it. She just got it. So what we ended up doing was we started turning this ourselves into a more complete little efficiency apartment. Well, we decided that rental was so good, let's go buy another rental. So we added in a rental. We bought a home. A uh, cheap home that needed work we jumped in there quick did the work we rented it out we went and did it again we went and bought another really cheap home slammed and put the hours in on it ourselves hired a, some some laborers to come do some things to make it go faster rented it out and we found ourselves not focusing on our home here we found ourselves focusing on investments and the next thing you know we had a nice healthy income from rentals and we were still living in a shell so little by little we've done things here and like these cabinets we bought all of these cabinet sets uppers lowers all of these so if that's why you see this little unpainted mark we bought all of these cabinets, all of them, sliding out drawers, a whole big kitchen's worth of cabinets. We bought them for next to nothing at a yard sale. At a yard sale, they were pullouts. Somebody doing a remodel, they weren't happy with them. So uh, you know, time to upgrade. Always, everybody's got to have the newest thing. Well, we were just fine with them. So we adapted the floor plan of what we would make for a kitchen to the cabinets we bought in the layout they were. And that's what we did. Um, we dropped the ceiling down in here and I did not want drywall above up there. So we plywood it and we have plans for that because in the Philippines they plywood it and they finish it smooth. They paint it and it looks just like drywall but without the inherent problems of drywall. You get a leak, it molds, it drops, um, all these things. So I thought this is great. And I started finding myself adopting some things from the Philippines that I experienced there into this home as we built it. So one thing that's really, really difficult to do is to build something while you live in it. I experienced that in the past on the main house and here I was again in my life doing it again. But the thing was, is that we found it didn't matter. Who cares about 
the Joneses or who cares about what somebody comes over and thinks because when we get on that plane and we're traveling the world and we're going here in the US and we're traveling around the country and people are envying us and thinking oh how is it they do that it's because we have residual income coming in and our taxes are cheap and we're not trying to get the most high dollar granite countertops and the most fancy of the fancy refrigerators and microwaves and stoves and all of that because when you get on that plane and leave here and you separate yourself from those things you realize those things are not so important in fact you realize they're not even important at all so this is where we found ourselves again now here we are we're gonna move out of here we don't want it we don't want it we're gonna move out of here this is going to be our next rental so basically my house went from a whole house to a duplex and uh, somebody will rent it and the thing is is the one side of my house now is actually worth about 1200 a month and this side right here once we get moved out one week can have it finished and this side right here will also bring approximately 11 to 1200 dollars a month because now we've completed more in the upstairs part and built and we built a second level over this and we built a lot of it out of recycled materials that is right recycled materials the lumber from the crates that my uncle gives me from the sign business it's like number one number two pine it's brand new we stripped those down we got the wood for free we got the screws for free um osb plywood that came on a lot of that it was brand new not weathered nothing just new just made a crate shipped the sign across the country set it off the truck peeled it right back off and so we on the cheap built an entire upstairs on this we was able to build all the rafters we were all able to build and deck it all we were able to do it better than normal we used all these one fours and we did a lathing on there like they did in houses years ago where you put board to board to board we have nice solid lumber up there better than all of these custom brick homes that you see built everywhere that are just thin osb spread out rafters and you know a nail can barely stay stuck in it so we went above and beyond now we did buy brand new sheet metal we did buy new windows we did buy insulation in those things we did a lot of the work ourselves and so now we're going to have this big side over here again that's going to bring us a lot of income so this is why if you see our house and these videos incomplete we're happy for that of course there's times we're like oh we're so tired of looking at this and that but we know the bigger picture we know what our goal is and this is going to be a very unique place as well but we'll have renters here side by side and we're going to be back away from that and at this point we feel like we just want to stay in a large fifth wheel it'll be instant finished we can downsize even more we don't need all of these so much furnitures and stuff and all for what for being here a short period of time and even then we spend most of our time outdoors or we spend most of our time when we're in the u.s going we're outdoors or we're going so we realize this big wraparound couch and big dining room tables it holds no weight it holds no value a gigantic refrigerator holds no value it holds all these things that you fill it with that you're not using you know you end up packing the door full of condiments and you pack the trays full of stuff then you find your stuff doing a refrigerator clean out throwing those same things away and my wife is from a country that you waste not want not and she sees the ways that have been adopted here in a lot of homes and she really points the waste out to me and i see it and we were on the same page there's a reason why we got married it wasn't just like oh i just want this cute little panay wife no she has her own mind and it's a strong mind 
and she also influences decisions and that I find myself in agreement on or I'll express things that I like and she finds herself in agreement on and that's what gives me and Mel a healthy relationship and we have the freedom to travel because we're not paying new car payments we're not paying payments on ATVs or motorcycles we're not making credit card payments uh, we're not making payments on furnitures we're not none of that we get out here we work as you see with the hay the cattle our rent homes today we've been down preparing a rent home a renter moved out moved to Oklahoma we see some touch-up paint we got to do a place on the sealant has got to be fixed we're gonna go in there and do it ourselves we'll get a renter back in there and life will continue on and we are really lucky on our renters too we've had a lot of the same renters three years four years just sticking with us so faithful and uh, I've even got a couple renters that they're gonna be seeing this YouTube video right here um, that rent from us but we're not out there like living in some castle living up life of luxury in a high dollar home while our renters you know are roughing it or nothing it's not like that at all our renters are actually living better than we are as far as the structure goes but we have the freedom to leave we have the freedom to go and no matter where we're at every day when we wake up that income is still coming in we're making the money work for us instead of us work for the money we are making this house work for us instead of us being enslaved into the home and that means when when all your focus is is taking care of a house and you've imprisoned yourself with that debt and that home and that yard and all of those things you're enslaved to it and um, we're not we are not so this is why we're able to travel and of course we have a lot of other little tips that we do um, things that you do every day in your life but that you can earn fly miles off of my electricity bill through Reliant Energy they have an American Airlines awards program so every time I renew my contract with them I get awards miles they give me a big bonus up front then each month when that bill's paid I get more miles 500 miles and then like Sprint Sprint has an American Airlines um, awards program too and each two years you re-up your contract with them you get a big old bonus lump of miles in there and you once again get monthly miles into your account well on several of my rent houses the electricity's in my name the contracts in my name so I'm collecting lots of miles every month our cell phone and that then like our our banking we're earning miles off of we choose to go with companies that's earning miles um, we do use credit cards but we keep them paid off and we're earning those miles so we purchase everything we're going to buy every month on a card but we never carry any interest or fees because we pay it off but we accrue miles and we've got so many miles with American Airlines we've got just tons of miles with Delta and we've got tons of miles say like through Chase Bank that you can use on several different carriers so we put our money to work for us instead of being in the opposite way of our money disappearing away from us um, they're like oh yeah the tickets you know are expensive to go overseas right and they're like man they must be spending big money making all these flights but the fact is is that through these loyalty programs we're spending very little money and sometimes we even find such cheap deals on tickets that um, it's not even worth using our miles so then when we do buy a ticket and we get a really good deal we're still earning miles for that long trip there and back it's accruing more miles which is building towards our next trip our next vacation 
You've got to be smart out there. Daily things you're already doing, turn it to your favor. So I wanted to share out there so y'all understand our life here. We're very wise about every dollar we do. Uh, we're very frugal, believe it or not, we're very frugal. Um, and we're doing just fine. Uh, I, my drone that I fly, did I buy that brand new? No, I got that thing for a steal off of eBay because some guy in California mislisted it. He wrote it wrong. He didn't have the name spelled right. Nobody was bidding on it. And uh, from his era, that's his fault. I put my bids in on it and I picked it up really cheap. And these are the things that we do. There's mail coming in now from the garden. These are the things we do. These are the sacrifices we make. But when people look at us fly away, they think, man, we are living the life of Riley. Well, maybe we are. Maybe we are. Because we have freedom. And that freedom can be achieved by you too. By just changing your habits. Stop living in the subdivision. Worrying about keeping up with your neighbors. If he buys a new boat, you got to buy a new boat. That Then what? Gets used one, two, three, four times in a year? Or your neighbor bought brand new granite and oh my God, we've got to have that sexy granite. But that granite ain't sexy when it's keep when you spent that big of money that you could have got out and seen the world. And then you see people like us and we're buzzing out and you're thinking, how did they do that? Well, we didn't go buy that granite. You know, that's why. We we make sacrifices and it gives us freedom. And you can achieve that too. You've just got to change the way you're spending your money. But that's what I have to share today. Um, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to cover a little bit more of this topic in another video. We appreciate all of you, um, always. And Ernie Hatmaker out there, you rock. I just want you to know that. Ernie, you rock. Uh, Daryl, you're pretty awesome. I enjoy the, the banner with you. And uh, I also want to thank the Army Colonel that wrote me, Keith, and... Uh, I'm going to be giving you a phone call. I checked out your website on your coolers. They're awesome, dude. That is some cool stuff. Billy, thank you for the book you wrote me. <laughs> thank you for the book you wrote me about the uh, off-grid systems. I knew you would. I knew it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, man. And we appreciate you. Keep smashing that like button. Man, come on, subscribe to us. Help us keep on growing. I'm going to put sometimes some fun day videos, but I'm going to put a lot of teaching out there if I can too and try to share something out there to maybe someone else can get out there and see the world. And someone else can get out there and eat these healthy foods. Look at this. Look here. Look here. My wife getting more corn okra ready to... to get into the freezer look here dehydrating tomatoes look at this look at that can you imagine the smell inside our house right now can you imagine it smells like I'm, I'm, it's just amazing you know these tomato smell is amazing here it smells almost like tomato sauce but it's just a wonderful fragrance look here let me show you more look here look here at our house this is our house. Look at this. Look at these. Look at these heirlooms. Look at this. This is what we do. And this is part of what gives us freedom. What, you imagine how much some of this stuff would cost you if you add it up in a grocery store. Just imagine that. Again, thank you all out there. Keep subscribing. Keep sticking with us. We love you. And have a great 4th of July.